Today we're talking all about how to do a plank and then I'm giving you a short plank workout to build up that strength. Here we go. Today I'm gonna to talk you through how to do a plank exercise so that you feel both safe and strong. And I also am gonna show you some variations you can use in case a full plank isn't quite the place you wanna be yet. So let's get started. And I want you to be in all fours and you're welcome to follow along with me or you can simply watch if that feels best for you. But I always personally like to start on all fours and I want you to spread your fingertips really wide. The first thing we're gonna talk about is the position here of your wrist and your elbow because many times people get pain in their wrists and planks and that's what holds them back. So let's talk about how to properly hold yourself there. So spread your fingertips wide, bend your elbows, and then take your elbows back so that they're facing your knees. Okay, so I have the bend part of my elbow here facing my knees. And you wanna keep that slightly bent, all right? So that part stays just a little bit bent. Then press away from your hands. So I'm not sinking down into my shoulders. I'm pressing away from my hands, but using the strength of my arms. That's gonna help take the pressure out of your wrists. So don't be here locking your elbows. Make sure they're slightly bent and facing your knees. Then once you feel strong there, step one foot back, curl the toes underneath lift kind of that whole torso up just so you feel strong in your abs because that's what's controlling you as you lift your other leg, straighten it out. And this is what we call a plank. You're going for a straight line from the back of your head to your heels. So what you're really trying to avoid is this, which is what happens when we just don't feel strong enough, especially in our arms to hold ourselves there. And then this, when our abs get really weak and fatigued, we tend to drop here. Both of those are gonna cause you pain. So you wanna be able to maintain a straight line. And this is what we call a plank. Straight knees, elbows just slightly bent, nice, long, straight line. All right, take a rest. And I'm gonna show you some options you can use to build to that. Cause that's what's really important is how you can feel strong and empowered to get to a full plank eventually. So find your hands in the same place and you're gonna be on all fours. And believe it or not, being on all fours is a really great place to start working on planks. So start here and then take one leg back, okay? See how that feels. So this is a really great modification place. One leg back or the other leg back, right? You can also take both knees step them back and lean forward. This would be step number two, all right? So you can start on all fours and one leg back. Then I want you to work here where the knees are bent and you're working for a straight line. Then from there, start shifting your weight a little bit forward and backward. And that will really start to build strength in your arms and in your torso and in your core to help prepare you for a plank. All right, and then again, once you're ready, what we're gonna do, let's review. We're gonna set our arms first, spread your fingertips wide, bend your elbows out to the side, and then aim them towards your knees and straighten them slightly. So I just have this little bend. So my triceps are working like crazy, as they should. Then one foot steps back, curl your toes, Lift your core, straighten the leg. Everything's really strong and straight. And then I straighten my other leg out to find a plank position. And then eventually when you're doing work either with me in Pilates classes or other classes you might be doing, we might ask you to lift a leg while in a plank. We might ask you to tap opposite elbows. We might even ask you to do a push up in a plank position, right? But all of that comes from you feeling really strong in that straight line position. So take your time working on that work a little bit every single day until you build up the strength needed for a plank. 
So now that we've been through the tutorial piece, I'm gonna take you through a short plank workout that you can work through each day. So let's start again on all fours. You know where it's going here. On all fours, take your right leg back, just keep it straight, lift it up, down, up, down. So I'm just gonna take you through this step by step. Three, two, one, other side because a big part of building the strength for a plank is actually getting used to putting your weight through your arms. So anything you can do on an all fours position like this in quadruped is really helpful. Last two, one, nice job, bring it back in. Now bring your right arm out in front, lift, lift, little pulses, four, three, two, one, switch arms. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it back down, nice job. We're gonna stay right here. We're gonna take that right leg back again. Lift it up, keep it here, and lift the left leg and pulse both. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Other side, left leg, and then right arm and pulse. So what we're doing is progressively increasing kind of the fulcrum and lever arm that you have to be able to maintain and rest while you're in this position, leading you to a plank. Now, bring your knees together and step them back. And then you're gonna lean yourself forward. If you need to pad under your knees, go right ahead. What I don't want you to do is cross your ankles, okay? Just keep them glued together and just work on finding a nice long straight line. Sometimes you can use a mirror that can be really helpful. You don't need to squeeze your butt here. You just wanna think about creating space. I'm trying to create space from my head down to my tail between each vertebrae. They're reaching far apart and I'm trying to maintain strength in my arms. Three, two, one. Nice job, lean back, stretch it out. We're gonna do that again, but I'm gonna give you the option. Either come to all fours and hold, or come to your knees and hold, or if you're ready, step one foot back and then the other and hold this nice long plank. Check your elbows, make sure they're not Locked, breathe and reach. Five, four, three, two, one. Knees, one at a time. One at a time, bring your knees down and stretch back. We're gonna do one more here. We're gonna do a, what we call leg pull in Pilates. That's what I've been building you to. So, Check your arms. I know they're probably getting tired. You're doing great. You're gonna lean back. If you're on your knees, this is what you're doing. Lifting one at a time. If you're not ready for that, do this, okay? One knee down, the other leg lifting. Otherwise, here we go. We're gonna find the plank of choice. So one knee down, both knees down, or both legs straight, and right leg lift, lower, lift, lower, four, Three, two, one, other side, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice, hold it, breathe, and one knee down, then the other. Sit yourself back, take a deep breath. Nice job. Bring your hands down. I like to put the backs of my hands down on the mat just for a little bit of counter wrist stretch. One hand down, reach over, and then the other. And great job, thank you so much for joining me here today. We will continue to work on our planks together so that again, you feel safe and strong in your own body. I'll talk to you soon.